Hi, I'm Evie Kirkwood from St. Joseph County Parks. Join me as we experience nature together. Outdoor Elements is presented in partnership with the St. Joseph County Parks Department, regional parks with natural fun, St. Patrick's County Park, Ferretti Bago Creek County Park, Bendix Woods County Park, and the Spicer Lake Nature Preserve. Today's Outdoor Elements is in honor of trees. We'll find out how an award-winning Eagle Scout turned a schoolyard into an educational arboretum. We'll get some hands-on tips for planting trees, but up first, we'll find out how an Indiana city honors its trees in The Big Trees of Goshen. Wow, Erin, this is a beautiful sycamore. It is gorgeous. And we're actually here on the Maple City Greenway, which is a kind of walking bike path yeah, through right. Goshen. Throughout Goshen, yeah. And this sycamore is the champion from which year? From 2010. Wow, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I want to get it just a little bit closer because um, one of the things I love about sycamore is I love their really interesting leaf shape. Give us yeah. some identification yeah. tips for a sycamore. Well, um, um, the two biggest identifiers, uh, at least to me, are, are the leaves, the mm -hmm. size of the leaves, yeah. one, for one thing. I mean, the sycamore leaf can be as big as, um, you know, a grown-up face. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> um, is big. And it's, it's, somewhat of a, it's somewhat of a maple leaf shape, except um, several degrees larger. And then the white, the white bark, the white skin right. in the upper third of, yeah. the, of the tree is a very distinctive um, uh, telltale also. And I know children oftentimes talk about that as looking like camouflage. Yeah, that's it's right. Real it's real blotchy. Kind of yeah, and that's right. And it actually right. flakes off. The bark actually flakes it does. off. And it sycamores does. are typically along waterways yeah, or along close wa to water. Yeah, they love to have uh, wet feet, you know. They love to uh -huh. They love to be close to water, as this one is. So what are, what are the stats on this tree? One of the measurements is the circumference, and it measured 199 inches. Ooh, okay. All the way around. All the way around. Uh, 104 feet tall. Wow. Um, and then uh, another another set of, of measurements is uh, the canopy. Okay. So we measure uh, what we can tell to be the, the widest part of the canopy, which was 103 feet, and the narrowest part of the canopy, was, which was 78 feet. Wow. So um, it's got a really massive spread. Yeah, it does. It does. I have to go walk up to this tree and go give it a hug. Yes, yes, I'm guessing please do. I can't get my arms around it because <laughs> it's really big, but you can try. Yeah, it's awful awful pretty yeah. and such a pretty spot here on the Yeah, it on is. the trail. I love this it's, little path that goes yeah, right to it. That's right. All right. Woo! Give it a hug. I mean, I'm like not even close, right? <laughs> that's a big tree. That's a big tree. That's a big tree. That's a really big All right. tree. All right. Nice sycamore. All right. So you've got another one that we can go take a look at yeah. that we can actually do some measurements on, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll just uh, head back down the, uh, the trail here back to Shanklin Park and we'll look at our cottonwood champion. Oh, wonderful. A, a really okay. Big another big tree too. Another big tree. All right. Tree. Let's yeah. go. Cottonwood Aaron, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is the cottonwood. Whoa. All this right. is a, a real uh, cathedral type it tree. It is beautiful crown. <laughs> yeah. This is a champion from what year? This is from 2010. Okay. Also, uh, but it um, replaced, dethroned uh, the original champion from 2008. The original cottonwood. So yeah. this is kind of the second yeah, cottonwood. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. it's here in the park. It's here in Shanklin Park. In Shanklin Park. Yep. So people can easily come and see this one. Yeah. Um, and it was nominated not by a park person. No, or? right. By, by a, a city resident. In fact, um, Lloyd Brubaker. Lloyd. Thank you, Lloyd, <laughs> yes, for nominating you, Lloyd. this tree. All right, so we're going to yeah. take the measurements so we can actually show folks yeah. how this is done. Right. And I know you said one of the things that we measure is the circumference. Mm -hmm. So can we, we start with that? Yeah, and we measure up um, we measure up first four and a half feet from okay. the ground. All right. So um, let's just uh, sit here and we'll get kind of an idea about where four and a half is. 
Somewhere in right around in here, I'd okay. say. Okay. All right, so, I'm going around. Yep, you going around and uh, we'll look. see what you get. All right. Whew. I hope this matches my measurement. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's grown a little bit. It could have grown a little bit. Yeah, okay. So, um, I mean, that's uh, 15, 11, 16 yeah. feet. So that's the circumference. Now we need to do the height and the canopy of this yeah. tree, which I'm thinking is going to be a little challenging. So <laughs> talk us through that, Aaron. What are we going to do first? Well, let's do the height first. Okay. Um, so uh, to measure the height the way the way I do it, and there are some different ways. Um, mine is maybe a little less scientific, um, but uh, but I'm the standard, so uh, so it works out. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's it's basic geometry, yep. uh, the, the geometry of a uh, right angle uh, equilateral triangle. So okay. uh, if the height is is one one of those equal yep. sides of the triangle of the triangle yep. then um, uh, we can we can we can measure that by measuring out um, along the ground yep. an equal distance and the way that we do that is um, by looking over uh, by looking over the top of a stick yep. which is the same distance from my eye um, mm. this yep. direction yep. as it is to the top, yep. so that uh, we have we have uh, a triangle here that mimics the triangle that we'll be measuring with with the tree. So mm -hmm. I'll back out uh, until I find the spot on the ground yep. where I'm looking right over the top of the stick right. to the top of the canopy. Okay. And then we'll measure from the base of the tree out to that point. Now this is a good lesson for everybody who's in high school geometry saying, I am never going to use this stuff. <laughs> That's right. Here's how you can use it, right? That's right. It is this exactly, is how you use yeah. it. <laughs> okay. All right. Trees. All right. So I'm going to watch you okay. measure the height of this tree. Here we go. Let's, uh, we'll walk out this direction. That looks good right there. Okay. So we're going to measure from this spot right here. Okay. Uh, all the way into uh, the base of the tree. Okay, so I have 117 feet and six and a half inches about to the center of the stake. So how do we do the crown? Okay, so for the crown or the canopy, mm -hmm. um, we're going to try to find both the widest spread, the mm -hmm. widest axis, yep. and then also the narrowest axis. Okay. And then we'll take an average. Okay. That, that, that way we get an average. And I bet on some trees that gets pretty challenging. Like the sycamore that we looked at, you'd that's, have to be in the water. That's right. That's so, right. It can be a little challenging. This one isn't too bad. We might have to climb over some picnic tables, but let's <laughs> I see think what we, we can figure well, it we out. We can figure it out. Okay, yeah. let's head over. All right. Got, wow, 94 feet? 94 feet. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find a narrow spot. I have 71 feet, 2 inches. Okay. So then, you know, we take the average of those two measurements, mm -hmm. and actually to come up with our point total, we divide that yet that number yet in, uh, by 4. Okay. And there's actually is a formula. It's not mm -hmm. just the measurements. There's actually a formula that assigns a point value That's right. to the tree. And That's is Goshen right. a tree city? Yeah, we are. And we are. what does that mean? Well, that means that um, we have a series of programs in place that help us to take care of trees. Um, it means that we commit at least $2 per capita uh, to tree programming in nice. the city. Well, we've yeah. had a lovely morning here in Goshen yeah. looking at a couple of champion trees and looking forward to hearing about more champion trees to come. Yes. All right. Great. Thanks a lot, Aaron. Yeah, thank you. Coming up, Eagle Scouts complete a variety of projects to benefit their communities. We'll find out how one Boy Scout created new learning opportunities for his school by planting trees as we visit an Eagle Scout Arboretum. Joe Buckery sent us pictures of a praying mantis laying eggs on a morning glory vine. A praying mantis gets its name from the prayer position in which it holds its front legs. Females lay a hundred or more eggs in a frothy mass called an uthica in the fall. The mass hardens and provides protection for the eggs before they hatch. A praying mantis may be brown or green and females are generally larger than males. Thanks for sharing your pictures, Joe. If you have pictures of the outdoor elements you've experienced, we'd love to see them. To share, go to the Outdoor Elements webpage or find us on Facebook.